to start things off today. Anyway, Jacob, where you go? Right, so you must be delighted with another big time win. Yeah, yeah. So please, I've seen uh, so happy. Uh, continues the same feelings after Thursday. Uh, keep the momentum. I think the performance was fantastic in all the aspects. Uh, I think, yes, so please, uh, uh, the players deserve big, big credit, you know, because after a few days to play again and in this level, I think massive credit for them. Liam. I'm Rissi. In another interview, Nani Madueki just said that in the last two games, Chelsea would be unselfish and really worked as a collective. Um, what, what, what's changed? No, yes, I think you, the assist for Noni to to Jackson that showed the, that we learn, that we are uh, smart. The situation with the penalty, if you remember, again, Everton, you know, uh, we received too, too many criticisms, but uh, a young team always need to make the mistake. Always we need to feel this... Uh, the situation uh, to after to improve. If we are capable to improve it because we are smart and clever people and you know, intelligent people. I think today was a great, great, uh, you know, action of you no know, need to see how the group start to, you know, uh, start to live and how it start to feel in between, you know, them. And I think always is a process that takes time. You never know if it's going to take one month, six months or one year. But then I think the most important thing that they start to settle the, princi the principles, you know, to start to f feel and live like a, like a group of players that <laughs> creating all the links to after to compete because that is the, the reality. Ah, so pleased for that because I think we are part of this process, helping them, you know, to, to grow and to be more mature and to improve in all the aspects. I think that is only the, the first step Massive step, but this is the step that we wanted to to reach. From there, now is is only you know to evolve in all the another aspect with the possibility to go in a tactical you know dif evolution, different things that we can improve from there. But if if not with without principles or without you know um, um, things that we start to show being competitive in this way, it's impossible to evolve in another aspect. Okay, thank you. Uh, there were a few times during the season, and maybe especially at home, when the, play, the team was playing very well, they made, they made scores first, and once the, the opposition scores or equalizes, it seemed that uh, like mentally was, uh, the team was like dropping intensity or, or playing more in your own half. And the last three games, because I would say also Aston Villa, you scored the second one, you went for the third one against Spurs, you called first, you keep pushing, you keep. Like you look at like absolutely in control, you're being today the same, scoring after three, four, and the team always looked in control and wanted more. That changes because it's part of the process, it's normal to, to, to reach this stage, or because you feel that finally your, your players are like mature also mentally, not just football wise, just you know your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> what I cannot move, that's perfect. Yes, of course. Who I think uh, knows about football is <laughs> when in all the process to build a team is the most difficult thing because you, you need to have the knowledge and you need to have the capacity, you know, to emphasize with the, every single play. Because after before to talk about coll the collective is the individual uh, part of the most difficult thing because they need to feel the confidence, they need to trust um, in in us, in the, in the staff, in the coaching staff and... And, and we need to create this, you know, bond together. That is the most important thing. And then it's to, uh, you need to start to identify the the player that, uh, in different, you know, uh, aspect how they what they need for after to perform and to uh, show the the quality inside to the pitch. All this process always take time. More with the circumstance that we we had from the beginning of the season that never was, you know, uh, perfect in terms of. You know, to have all the players, you know, in the same time, in the same level, in, you know, competing for competing, you know, and trying to, you know, improve uh, quicker than 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 the, the the reality was, and then to work with expectation. That expectation from the beginning, the expectation is like the 
like uh, if you compare with the competition. The competition doesn't wait for you because you need to compete with the Premier League, with the team that are preparing to come here and kill you. And the expectation is, is impossible also to fight again or to, you know, to be, you know, because the expectation is expectation. But then, and then you need to defend yourself or after you need to explain, but always is going to be in another in front of you. Or they say, yeah, yeah. But that are, are only our excuses because you don't perform. But who knows a little bit about football? When the team is young and, and with all the parts, you need to put all together and to start to, to work into everyone, find their space and start to feel really confident. That is the most difficult thing and always take time. Now, I think, and I told you, I think a few weeks ago, I say I am so happy because I think we we are so close, you know, to to be in that in that position. That is first step that after Tottenham, I told you, in the way that we compete was fantastic. And and then to keep this momentum, and I think the team is, is growing so up um, very fast now because that is the standard that the minimum standard that we need if we want to compete in this league. But now it's like uh, the maturity of Luke Noni. Rather to be selfish and to play and try to score him, give the assist to and this type of thing. When it start to appear, you know, on the team, it's an, a, a very positive signal, you know, that the thing uh, were tough to arrive here, but now it's like uh, everything is going so so fast and it's going to be fast because we have the quality. Okay, we've got time for two more, Jack, and then Nick's finish. Mauricio, you, the competition for the European places now is quite close with yourselves and, and the teams around you. If you can finish in the top six, how successful a season would that be with the Cups and I don't, the circumstance? I don't want to say nothing because, yeah. you know, um, from the beginning of the season, I say the objective always is to win because we are in Chelsea. But I think that creates too much uh, pressure. And of course, now the team is about to be focusing to rest tomorrow and Tuesday prepare and, and I start to prepare the game again Saturday again. Not for I think the objective has, for us is to be mature and to keep uh, the momentum and you know compete, improving every single single game. And of course, uh, I think we are going to try to be in Europe and. It's going to be good for the for the team and for the players um, to be in Europe next season. Um, but I cannot say that uh, to describe the, the season uh, a successful season if you know win a title here in Chelsea. Because again, expectation always is to win titles with Chelsea. Circumstances show that the reality was really really tough. You know, to from the from the day one to arrive today. But uh, deep inside, player staff, all that we were living, the reality, I think the staff is happy, the players are so happy because I think um, in the really tough moment, we keep pushing and we really believe and we never give up. And even with the criticize and many things again, we were there. Um, that is the important thing. That when we talk about experience, about uh, quality and capacity, you know, to to deal with things, you know, to enjoy today this uh, type of performance with this team, um, I think that is what all that we have in our head, in our mind, and our head. And yes, now it's it's about to be clever and smart and, and to keep this momentum and into the end of the season. Okay, last question, stay, Nick. Um, Still, Mark Cabrera, obviously, with the role he's had. Um, how pleased are you with him? Yeah, yeah, this role, like another that we can implement, you know, in the future. But before that is because, you know, you need to build the, the belief, the confidence, the trust, the, the team need to compete. Uh, I think all the tactical evolution that we have in our head, like our coaching staff, uh, yes, we will apply, you know, in the future. But the most important thing, if you don't, you know, uh, you cannot sit if you don't have a chair. But before you need to build the chair, and you know, the is <laughs> no, but it's true. The problem in football, you you don't have a team, but you expect to behave like a team. You are, you are so selfish, and after you need to be generous. You know, in the beach is the priorities in football. Who you know, like an engineer that is going to build a, a, a building. Yes, you know, yes, but I want to see so quick the, the nice furniture in the flat and the, you know, and sleep there. Yeah, but first, first of all, uh, we need to build the structure and everything. That is why sometimes uh, we made a, we made a mistake when we shash 
the 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 show of the people, the coaching staff, and also we have uh, young player that is always be I we will say always be careful in the way that we shot because the most important is to see in which uh, moment we are, in which type of team, uh, all the things that uh, always you, you need to start for the priority. Great, thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Everybody, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.